Hi guys, how are you? So this week we thought it would be fun to bring out my personal Frisian stallion Ugh. that uh, nobody has really seen a lot. You'll see him a lot one day. Um, he's going to be like Prodigy and Dulce Vita and everything else. I've also got um, his partner in crime as a Andalusian stallion. They're both six years old. So because I'm so busy working with everyone else's horses, I don't get to play with mine. Um, hence why his braids look a little homeless looking, but they're gonna get taken care of tonight. Um, so don't judge us on that. But um, but he's only been in a trailer one time, because again, I'm, I have to take everyone else's horses to an event and mine always kind of get left behind. So his big moment to shine is actually coming up on um, Monday, Tuesday, we're gonna take him to the curing. So I'm sure we'll take some more videos there and show you the behind the scenes and you can watch him go. Um, so he actually, I'm holding him back. He's actually pretty eager so far. Um, so we thought it would be fun to show you um, how I would work a naughty, sometimes very naughty stallion to get into the trailer for the first time. So we all know that I love bribery with treats. If I can make my job easier and make theirs more enjoyable, why not? So, you know, two seconds ago, he was skeptical about um, the trailer in general, and now he's on it because he's so focused on that. Now, I don't want him to be, um, I don't want him to be greedy, so he might get in trouble a little bit, but right now, I'm kind of not, I can always yell at him about being greedy, but right now, I don't want to burst his confidence. So, um, we are going to just come up. And so far he's doing great. Couldn't be better. We're gonna rub him. And the important thing is, is to take him out when I want him out. And I'm gonna take him out in just a second. I want him to kind of look around, be curious. But I'm actually gonna take him out before he thinks about it. Cause I wanna show him that it's my idea. Um, so this frustrates some people. Cause it's like, oh no, I got him in the trailer, you know close the bar. It's like, no, you actually don't want to just hurry up and lock them in there because horses are born natural claustrophobics. Um, so by me saying like that you're fine, I'll take you off the trailer. It kind of, even though he was more than happy to stay in there, it kind of cuts to the point and cuts the chase of don't worry about thinking about rushing out. I'll take you in and out. Good. So um, he's perfectly happy, which makes me perfectly happy. Proud mom moment right here. Um, so um, he's perfectly happy to get right back in. So I do have to kind of organize myself a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna need this whip for a second. I always have a whip, long whip in handy. I like a carriage whip best for all of my groundwork in general. I'm gonna organize myself a little bit better so I don't get wrapped up in any ropes. So I love the fact that he's looking around and that's the thing that you wanna encourage. Um, some people won't give him their head. When I first got up to the ramp, I let him sniff it. Um, be, you know, when I first came over to the trailer, I let him put his head in and eat hay out of like the, the, the person's side door. And I'm not gonna let him, you know, dig on my ramp too much, but he can paw on the ramp a little bit. I want him to explore. And the fact that he's willing to look around and explore is amazing. That's, you know, um, you, you never kill the curiosity. You do have to watch him though. Like right now I gotta protect him because he wants to put his head underneath um the divider and if he bumps his head we're gonna ruin his his confidence so right now he thinks it's like a big food box hence why i use treats is i want him to think that it's a, 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 a positive thing so i want him to just kind of you know think that it's a big treat machine and as every time i put him in here he's just gonna get treats and loves and it's like the coolest thing ever i'm so proud of you yeah. So we've been going back and forth on if I should take him to the curing or not, because, you know, I don't really have him muscled like I would like to. And I did make a big, big mistake and I put him with his, I call them brothers, but they're not brothers. And they, of course, two six-year-old boys, they bit each other, so he's got some marks. So anyway, so he's kind of like doing like a put me in coach, like I'm ready, let's do this. So every little, every little uh, challenge we've given him, he's mastered. So I, he might be going to the gearing. All right, so the next step is because he is doing so well. And as all of you guys know that I, I just, 
have to push it. I want to see if I can get him to load himself in the trailer because it's going so perfectly and why wouldn't I take an opportunity to ruin it? So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, but this is how you make greatness. You either take a risk of ruining it and making it horrible or it's perfect and amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift and I'm going to see if I can get him to go in. He's my stallion. He is a six-year-old stallion in the trailer for the first time. So, so I'm gonna go and take him out. What happened now? That was a. Uh, that was a. Uh, hopefully, a learning moment for us all. Okay, so he agrees. So we're gonna give him a treat for his try, and it was a young mistake. It's no big deal, hopefully. So I'm gonna be ready for that. Next time I'm gonna go ahead and have my whip ready. We just took a quick break because he did so great. He backed off the trailer after our little, you know, um, um, Twizzler moment in the trailer. Um, so, uh, so we took a break. I rubbed him, pet him, everything else. He did just realize that the mini horses are right there and that that's an option. So you can watch me handle a naughty stallion and let him know that he should technically be paying attention to me right now and he's breaking every rule in my book. So what I'm gonna do is I don't, I'm gonna tell him like, I don't care what is going on over there. I'm standing over here. You should be doing nothing but paying attention to me right now. So, every time he goes to look away, I'm going to tell him no. And, like, obviously they can see behind him. It's just the thought that counts. I need him to focus in on me just like that. Good. So, I'm, I always give them what, what, what they give me. I give them this much more. So, if he pushes a little bit like that, I'm going to bump him a little bit harder. If he slams, I'm going to bump him harder. If it's a little bit, I'll give him a little, hey, you know. So you just, you rate it by whatever he does, you give him the same amount. So for the events coming up this weekend um, at the curing, this is actually really important. I, I have to make sure that I can keep his attention. Um, so I am gonna take two seconds and make sure that if I, and all the expos that I do, like you gotta imagine like Prodigy, which is his uncle, um, you know, we've all heard like he's been kicked out of nine trainers, he's tough. Um, you gotta imagine him in front of 10,000 people. Like this is really important of wherever I am, you focus on me. So here we go. So here we, I'm gonna step off the tray, off the ramp. So if you notice the entire time I kept my back to you and on him and I blocked this ramp because it, he, he doesn't need to focus on anything but me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step off the ramp. I'm gonna rub him and let him know like, yeah, you're doing great because he's not being dumb, you know? It was just the little bumps to keep saying focus, focus, focus. And you see how he's kind of pushed his neck into me? Oh, now he's on the ground, but, um, but we've got a lot of activity coming around behind him and I'm actually really proud of him. So he's licking his lips, that means he's processing everything, he's relaxing and he's thinking. Um, because like, I, you know, I'm 5'4 and I do handle mostly stallions, so I, I will get, you know, be tough if I have to. But a stallion especially, they won't work for you if they don't like you or trust you or want to um, want to be around you. So I'm going to bump him again because I don't like how much he's going. And now I'm going to tell him, okay, get on the trailer. So I do have someone up there, actually. Uh, it's my uh, my barn manager. So Lori, go ahead and stand up there if you want to. Uh, uh, go ahead and, yeah, there you go. So she, because he rushed out last time, I've got my barn manager with some um, grain. And she's going to just kind of slowly give him some treats to, to teach him kind of to rush in there. When that happens, I'm going to start playing with this butt bar. Um, 
and start kind of putting the butt bar behind them because uh, I don't want anything to surprise them on Monday when we have to leave. Okay, so I'm going to say, okay, so go ahead and just go onto the trailer. So you see I just kind of lifted. So he's looking at me, that was good. Perfect, so he's gonna meet him and start giving him some treats. I'm gonna wait just two seconds and let him kind of focus in on her. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come behind and never touch him first, especially get a young stallion. So I use my, my, now be really careful when you do this. A lot of times like you play with this and, and they're gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and since he's being good, only because I got a treat girl up there, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the chase because we're running out of time. Good. So he just found the butt bar. Good. So Lori, go ahead and stop feed him for two seconds, okay. and then push him back a little bit to make him push on that bar for a second. Good. Just so he knows it's there. Perfect. And then go and bring him back up. Perfect. Okay. So, you know. Uh, if he ends on a good note and comes out of the trailer, then I might do it one more time, but then we're going to be done because we all know again, I have a habit of pushing it and I really couldn't ask for anything better than this. So I'm going to step kind of out behind him and start to tell him now, hey, okay, come on. Boy, come on. Okay, so I'm just going to use his encouragement and rub him and just tell him to get right back on. So go ahead, Lori. Okay, so we're gonna, good, go ahead and go back on. Okay. Oops. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use my stick first and see if I can get him, don't ever stand behind him. All I do is live with horses and I don't trust them. Okay, so, not all of them. And this one's mine and I don't trust them. Okay, so, put that on there. I'm gonna rub. And Lori's gonna push him back on this bar real quick. And we're only pushing him on the bar because we don't, we don't want him to figure out the bar on his own and freak out. So she's kind of pushing him back and saying like, look, that's there. There you go. Good, and she's giving him treats right now while he's pushed up on it. And then she's gonna pull him off it real quick and then we're gonna be done. As long as he gets out like a gentleman. So say a little prayer. Good, I'm gonna step back in front of, behind him. I lift up my hand, come on, good boy. You really couldn't have asked for any better. Um, uh, we'll show you whenever I do teach my Andalusian how to load, hopefully be sometime soon. He might be naughty, but I mean, I'm super proud. That was a proud mom moment. So uh, we'll make a lot more videos like this, and I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next week.